Hey guys, Kevin here. So we just finished another building in Clever, Missouri. This one's at 32 by 56. Um, if you guys remember, we did all that excavating over here. We had to build it up six, seven feet on the backside over there, um, get compaction tests and stuff. I'll go over that here in a second. Um, so yeah, that's it right there behind me. I'm gonna walk around the outside, kinda show you guys what we did and you know, all the good stuff. So here we go. All right, so here's the front. Again, we got 32 by 56, 12 foot tall. We have a 12 by 10 door, 10 by 10 door. We only did concrete right here. He didn't want concrete over here. One window and one entry door. We did do all the electrical on this. So we got three gooseneck lights on this. I guess we got window over here too. Now we just yesterday and the day before we did all the the back grading, got all the topsoil in, and a customer actually seeded and strawed this. This is a 612 pitch roof, and the reason we did that is because there's scissor trusses on the inside um, where the mezzanine is. We'll go inside and look at that in a second. Grade work turned out nice. So when we do excavating, when we're building pads and stuff like that, we always include all the topsoil, dressing it, making it look nice. I'm not just going to leave gravel, rocks, clay, ugly. I'm not going to leave it like that. So, but yeah, you could see how much we built it up. I mean, it's huge. We put a nice gradual grade on it, which... Christian and Green County, Green and Christian County, the code is a three to one ratio. So every foot you go up has to slope three feet. So this was about, let's say six feet. So we had to go out 18 feet, but we had to go even more because the land still slopes. Um, so we probably went out probably 25 feet to get this thing to where it's mobile, you know, not a steep incline where he's not trying to climb with the lawnmower and stuff. Just make it really nice for the customer. So we are big on that. Let me turn the camera on. So yeah, here's the backside. Oh dang, almost fell. All right, so here's the backside. As you can tell, I'm down here at the edge and it is taller than I am looks like we got another window right here this building also has 18 inch soffit overhangs this color combo is stone and burner slate normally we do clay and burner slate but the customer wanted to match the house a little better so if you guys remember when we built this pad we had to get a compaction test for every single foot so that was wasted time. So I'd say we probably spent four days on building the pad for this because we bring in a few truckloads, compact it, compact it, soak it down, um, and then we'd call the engineering company, which is own engineering. They did the compaction test for us. They come out with their radon tool thing, drive a couple pins, and check for moisture and compaction. Um, and I, I think we were a little bit over... 100% compaction and the minimum is 95% so we were way compacted um, which is I love that because I want to ensure our building and our concrete is not going anywhere um, and that's a good reason why you want a compaction test um, anywhere I mean really if if you're kind of worried about it and you're building up quite a bit get an engineer out there to compact it and do a compaction test um, it'll let you know whether something's going to move or not but but yeah all right let's go go back around and we will walk on the inside and talk about it so so quick here is a close-up of our gooseneck lights we use i really really like these because we could cut them to fit over ribs so we could literally put those goosenecks wherever we want all right, here we go. Let's go inside. So 
So here's the mezzanine we built. 32 this way and we came out 12 feet, all engineered. We did that continuous footing right here for these poles. Here's the stairs. Now the reason why we went with 612 pitch is because we wanted a tall center up here for our scissor trusses. And then the rest of it, we went just regular trusses. And then we got this really nice railing up here. That way no one falls off. Railing down the stairs. Now, let's talk about electrical. We pretty much wire almost every single one of our buildings, seems like. We got LED lights. And then we also put LED lights underneath the mezzanine. We got 125 amp panel. This is a timer for the outside lights because gooseneck lights are not dust till dawn. We have an outlet for every single pole. You can see the outlets on that wall. Lots of LED lighting. Automatic garage door openers. And these are the only openers I will ever use. Jack shaft openers. They are quiet. A little lock down here at the bottom. And if you guys notice, this building is also insulated with our vinyl back insulation. That nice three inch fiberglass blanket insulation that I like. This is gonna keep the shop nice and cool in the summer. It's not gonna be baking in here or during the winter. If you put a heater in here, it's gonna trap the heat really well. That mezzanine turned out pretty dang good. Concrete turned out amazing. Nice and flat, smooth. So yeah, I know I say this on every building, but I couldn't be more pleased. Um, the guys did amazing on this one. Um, we have a lot of projects going on. So this is one of the ones we just recently got done. There's another one in Willard. I need to go take pictures and videos of. Um, we have this one's complete. Final inspections done and everything. And I'm ready to hand this thing over to the customers. So thank you guys for watching. Like always, um, like, share, comment, and I will get back to everybody. And I really do appreciate everything um, you guys do. So thank you for watching.